When we multiply a whole number by a fraction, what we're really saying is that we're making multiple groups of the fraction. So in this case, three groups of four fifths. Um, we're not getting smaller, like the size of the piece is not getting smaller. We're just getting more pieces, more fifths, but the pieces are staying the same size. Um, the whole number is telling us how many groups we're making and this is the size of each group. So what we do when we solve with a model is we're going to draw three boxes, three holes to show our whole number. We're gonna split each box into fifths because that's my fraction. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're gonna take one color and shade in a group of four fifths, so our first group. So I'm gonna shade in one piece, two, three, four. So there's a group of four fifths. Now I wanna take a new color so I can tell these apart. I'm gonna shade my second group of four fifths. So that's one piece starting right from where I left off, two, three, four. And then I can go back to my first color, just keep alternating for as many groups as I have. So in this case, I just need one more. And by not skipping the end of the boxes this way, by continuing on from where I left off, I can easily see what my answer should be. So how many whole boxes do I have shaded in? I have these two. And then how many extra fifths do I have? I have two fifths. So my answer is two and two fifths. When we're multiplying a fraction by a whole number, the process is going to look pretty much the same, um, but the context is a little bit different. So instead of finding four groups of one third like before, I'm finding one third of four wholes. So in other words, I'm finding a part of a group or a part of a whole, um, which is a little bit different than finding groups of a fraction, groups of a, of a you know, a certain number of pieces. It's just a little bit of a different context and that sometimes is a struggle for students to recognize in a word problem situation. Um, but again, the modeling is gonna look pretty much the same. So we have four holes that we're gonna find one third of. So we're gonna make four boxes, just like you would have before you model your whole number. And each of these represents one whole. Okay, so there's my four boxes. I'm going to split each box into thirds to represent my fraction. So if this is everything I have currently, I have four holes split into thirds. I want to show that I'm finding one third of this. So I'm gonna color in one third, switch colors, I'm do this four times. show my different groups, I switch colors. And then once I have my four colored in, um, I can count up my total. So one third of four holes equals one, because I have one entire box colored in, and one third, because I have one of the three pieces. So you can see that my four holes get smaller um, because I'm just finding a section of it. I'm finding one third which is a fractional piece, you know, less than a whole, of four holes. So my answer should get smaller.